Hello and welcome to John's Author Diary for the week ending December the 19th, 2021. I can't believe it's almost 2022. You know, that date to me still feels like it's in the far future. You know, I thought by 2022 we'd all be living on the moon and we'd have our own jetpacks and hoverboards. And where's my hoverboard? <laughs> I want a jetpack, let's be honest. Um, so I have had a busy week. And it's just been admin, you know. I wrote no new words. I filled out my tax return. Woohoo. And did planning for the next step in my author career. Um, so been doing a lot to get ready for the launch as well of Dawn of Assassins next month. So basically just been putting the ebook together, getting the stuff ready for the paperback, order the paperback cover. Um, reaching out to early reviewers and organising cross promotions with other authors. So there's a lot still to do, but I think I've got the bulk of the fappy stuff done. Um, so in terms of reading, I'm still reading The Traitor's Blade by Sebastian de Castell. Really enjoying this book. Morally grey characters. Uh, just kind of a weird military order thing. A lot of fun. A lot of violence and things like that. So definitely recommend that if that is the type of thing you like. Um, I also read quite a few business books this week. So I read The Dip by Seth Godin, which is short and sweet. Uh, it's basically a long blog post about the point in any venture where it feels like you're coming against real difficulty. Now, I feel like that at the moment <laughs> with what I'm doing. Um, so. This is apparently the hardest part where a lot of people give up. A lot of people quit at this point. Um, and it's apparently the people who get past the dip, as he calls it, who become the best in the world at what they do. So here's to being the best in the world at what I do. We'll see. Um, I read some more books. Entrepreneurial Mind was one. One Million Followers and The No BS Guide to Brand Building. These were fine, very dated. They felt very 1990s, even though I think they were all kind of mid to late 2000 kind of thing. Now they felt very dated. I don't think there's anything new in them. And the, I don't know, a lot of the stuff just seemed irrelevant now and especially relevant to what I'm doing. So I don't know, wasn't, didn't really get a lot from them. Um, so now, I'm about to go on my Christmas break. So that means I'm going to have two weeks off, two weeks off writing, doing work. Um, I might do work. I might do some writing. I need to fix a trial of thieves. I had a conversation with basically one of the uh, people who was collaborating with on Black Death Survival. And I was just talking about the story and kind of got the realization that there's too many subplots. So, you know. I need to do the thing of kill my darlings. I need to get rid of at least one of those subplots, tighten the book up, stop it from sprawling. Because, you know, it's, I think it's at 27,000 and I'm just reaching the end of the first act, which to me says that's too much. So I need to cut probably about 5,000 words off if it's going to be about an 80,000 word novel. So, yeah, need to do that, need to rework it. So I'm going to be busy with that to start with. I really want to get this one done and also finish off the outlines for a prequel thing that I've been working on and this new novel that I've been working on. Um, I'm not going to say much more about those yet just in case they, they don't work out but I think they will and this is going to be the kind of start of the next step so more about that I suppose once I've got this Assassin Trilogy finished so that's my priority. Um, so look out for my review of the year and my favourite books of the year over the next couple of weeks. So I'm not going to be doing any diaries until next year now, but there will be stuff on the feed. Um, so do have a great Christmas. Happy New Year. All that good stuff. Hopefully 2022 will be much better than it has this year. So until next time, cheerio.